Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I restyled an old install that I did. So originally I did this install on camera. Um, I will be putting the link somewhere on the screen so you guys can watch that video so you see the original install. But before we jump into this install or this look, um, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever I post and leave all your comments down below. Also, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Now, for this um, switch up, I wanted to do a curly hair uh, because I had it straight and I'm just like, you know what? I'm doing a new makeup look. I'm doing red lips and, you know, kind of doing red lips with blonde hair kind of reminds me of, you know, like a little Marilyn Monroe kind of look. So I wanted to do it curly. And since I'm doing curly hair, I decided to do baby hairs with it. And this is the good thing about um, when you just do your hair, if you don't do it with, um, if you don't do it with baby hairs before, doing the baby hairs after could make it seem as if it's a brand new wig, even though it's not. But, you know, when you do baby hairs for your original install, then you kind of, if you want to switch up the baby hairs, it's kind of hard um, to kind of, you know, make it look different but when you originally do not have baby hairs it's kind of easier if you get what i'm saying so um for my baby hairs um i will be using i'll be using um got to be spray and mousse i'm using the got to be spray because the hair is lifting and i didn't want to go in back with more glue because like i ain't got time for that um so i decided to use the got to be spray to hold it down and the mousse to mold it into place now before I started making the baby hairs, I wanted to pluck the hair a little bit. Um, even though this is 613 hair and sometimes when you do your baby hair too thin, it doesn't show and then if your lace is the thing, it shows your lace. So if you want to hide that, do fluffy baby hairs, but also not too thick. So I didn't want it to look too thick, so that's why I was pretty much just, you know, plucking it so it's not all that thick and looks too fake like it's a uh, plastic hair. I'm just using the razor comb to um, do my baby hairs to cut to cut the baby hairs actually um, how I measure my baby hairs I normally do it over my eyebrows as long as it's over my eyebrows it's fine and then I'll sweep it and then I'll usually go in with like the scissors to cut the ends if they're too long um, but yeah I normally use my eyebrows as a measuring spot or a measuring tool see how far I want to cut it um, what else? I feel like I was say that. um yeah so the shorter you cut the baby hair the more um, thin they are the longer you leave them is the thicker they will be so again the shorter you cut your baby hair the thinner they will be the longer you leave them that's how thick your baby hairs will be and this all depends on you it's your preference if you like thicker baby hairs than what I have now then leave them a little bit longer or do not pluck that much um, but for me I don't like them too too thick but I don't like them too thin especially with 613 hair like I said if the lace is lifting it will show if your baby hairs are too thin so you want to make sure you have a little fluff in them to kind of hide the lifting of the hair okay so right now I'm just spraying it down and then I'm going to tie them and then I'm going to come back when I start curling the hair and stuff.
this right here pretty much helps the hair um, to flow better and it gives it more volume. So if you want volume in your hair, then use this brush. It's good. I'm telling you guys, it's the best. It's the best. So if you want more volume in your hair, then use this brush and trust me, you, you'll thank me later or thank me later. <laughs> here was where I was getting so annoyed with this hair because I wanted to do more like you know um, fancier curls but I don't know everything was just it was just getting to me like everything like it wasn't curling properly I don't know what's happening I'm still not good with um, flat iron curling I need to practice more on that on that but you know it is what it is I just did I just left it anyways because I'm just like you know I already started at one point I was thinking yo I am literally just going to straighten this hair and not do this video anymore but because it was just giving me too much like it was just hell so I can't really explain to you guys how to do it because if I do you guys are gonna probably be in the same um, problem that I ended up in which it which is the hair not being curled properly or whatever so whenever I get that intact then I will explain more or I'll do an in-depth but yeah I don't really have this unlocked as yet so yeah um also what was I gonna say oh the spray that I'm using is the beyond the zone heat protecting spray and guys when I tell you this spray is the bomb.com you need to get one like I ordered it on I, I thought it was on Amazon but for some reason they're sold out on Amazon I don't know why but they made it on Amazon I guess I guess because it's that good everybody wants to get it but it's not on Amazon so I ordered from Sally's Beauty and they came to my door the right time because they came as soon as I wanted to do this video which I was so happy for because like I didn't want to do it without it but yeah 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 <laughs> um so yeah that's what i'm doing pretty much just curling the hair uh you know two to you know flat iron curls on them and just trying to be a bad bitch you know what i'm saying so yeah Okay, so right here was when my brain was blowing. I wanted somebody to just shoot it out because I don't know. It was just not flowing right. Like the, I don't know. I think I don't know what happened, but I just didn't like the way it turned out. Then I started doing like layering it to see if that would have made it better. And it was just a lot going on, guys. But you know, you have those days you have those days where nothing goes right and then you have days where you're just like oh i did this don't tell me don't tell me i did this because it wasn't me and do you have times when you oh my gosh do y'all see how my closet is like dirty behind me like i didn't even see that oh my god but anyways my closet my shoes them I'm still trying to figure out where to put them and like my need to probably buy one shoe stand to put in there so but for now I have them all there so don't judge me don't judge me don't don't do it like, don't do it don't do it okay but anyways yeah I was trying so hard to spice up this hair but you know 
is what it is there wasn't anything else I could do at this point. I just wanted to get over this video. So I had something on the post, okay? But yeah, enjoy. Okay, so if I'm being quite honest, I don't really like this here it didn't it didn't turn out how i ex how i wanted it to let me just fix this camera but yeah the hair did not turn out um exactly how i wanted it to i wanted it to be curled more but this is fine for now i guess um i can't really curl my hair properly when it's already installed on my head it's so hard it, i'm still practicing that uh but yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever i post and leave all your comments down below but yeah see you guys in the next one